What's good guys, Polly Popo here. I'm glad to be on the channel, breaking out the red, got the Cardinals doing good, everything's going pretty good. It's good for business anyway. Um, the other day, whenever I got on to my NPC, I, I got a message on it that said, would you like to update your NPC? And I didn't really pay any attention to it. And I was at work today, and um, uh, Crooked Letter, he's, a, he's got a good YouTube channel. You might want to go check it out because I learned this from him today. I've made 700 videos, but I learned this from him today. Uh, it's good to see new people coming and putting out content. It's it's really refreshing, actually. So what it should do is when you turn on your MPC, it does all this wirelessly. And it's supposed to give you like a touch screen for like the MPC studio, how it's got that touch strip. Well, this kind of does the same thing. So it didn't ask me this time. So what I'm going to do is go to menu and I'm not connected to the computer whatsoever. So I'm just going to hit the gear icon and hit update. Um, and it gives you an online update. So MPC 2.10.1 available online. Would you like to download and install now? Yeah. Yes. Do you want to shut? Yeah. Do anything, everything you need to do and look at it. Like straight up, it's doing it online. And what I think is cool about this, guys, um, despite that they didn't send me a MPC studio to to do that, I was a little hurt about that. But I guess they, you know, I don't own the company, but I would have shown a lot more than uh, the negatives about it. You know what I'm saying? I would have totally. The best video I saw on it was Matt's, and it was the unboxing to show that everything was in the box. But um, yeah, despite that they didn't send me that and they haven't really done too much to make something better than the MPCX, it's cool that they're making things thinner and they, the, you know, you can see it. You can see the, the, the new product coming, especially with this update. Like it's a wireless update. So that, that's got me thinking, can you, can I send files back to my computer now? Can I do that? Will that, will allow me to do that? Because me personally, I think that I should be able to, excuse me, me personally, I think that we should be able to send our files to our computers the same way that this update's getting pulled out of thin air right now. All right, so we got it here. Cheers. Now we turn it on, hopefully everything works good. 2.10 really put a hurt on my MPC. Really, really did. But then again, I wasn't using it every day. I was using the MPC Live 2 there for a while. The new plugin instruments are available for your MPC. To use them, you must first download and install their content files. then why would I have been able to update? You, you, you know what I mean? Why? Why? Okay, so you go to the Akai site. Right here. I'm not going to do the screen and screen, guys. I'm just going to do it like this today. Starting to, like, not... I, not that I don't care, but, uh, yeah. PC updater... And whenever this little folder on the bottom, it's like I'm really thinking about jumping ship because not that they didn't send me anything because I know you got to really, really work your way up. I think it's 20,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers, but I've done so much. I've beta tested. I really think I've done a lot. The only thing I can keep up with are these updates. Open when done. All right. Update MPC. Plug in device. Blah blah blah. Get that nice blue cable that you got. Sorry guys. Literally just got home and um, yeah. So let's do this. Don't show again. We'll go to empty project. Put this thing in controller mode. 
Do I need to put it in controller mode to update? Let's put it in standalone. <coughs> Leave it started in standalone. I think you just do it in standalone. But yeah, I was so upset, man. I was like, you see these guys make a video, it's like, yeah, my first uh, first day with the, like, dude, it's been out for eight months. <laughs> eight months, dude. I would have totally cracked that thing and figured it out and been able to show you guys a proper workflow on that opposed to saying, oh, it's not good, or blah, blah, whatever. Sometimes you use what you got to your advantage, you know, and for me, if I would have had a busted computer that worked and I would have been able to get away with using that to get my ideas down and to get your idea down is the whole thing. And I would say 90% of the population have computers today that can run the MPC software. I don't know if it can run on Chrome, dude. I was having a hard time getting it to run on Chrome, but I hope that this would fix that. So we're going to go hit uh, the gear icon. Is that right? I'm running the new OS. Do I have any new plugins in here? It said the new plugins wouldn't be available until I'm downloading this the right way. I'm going in here. We're going in controller mode to update. Sorry. It's plugged in. Update MPC. Put the device in update mode and connect it to the computer. I'm doing it. So what we're going to do is put it in standalone mode, empty project, you're going to hit menu, gear icon, update mode, it doesn't say update, legal version, version info, okay, we'll put it in update, update USB drive update, no update file was found USB. In update mode. Switch to update mode. Jeez. Easy to just let you hold down shift and put it in update mode. Yes, I want to put it in update mode. It's going to shut down, restart, and it should be in update mode. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's in update mode. Now on the computer. You click update. Cool. That's all we're going to do. Transferring update, and I don't know how long this is going to take, but let's do it together. I'll fix my camera. You know, and the thing is, I'll probably get so many views on this one, and I didn't even really try. I'm just, honestly, I'm just trying to keep you up to date with your MPC and show you how to have fun doing it. So after this updates, we'll see what kind of plugin it is. I know it's a little strip. I saw it on, um, I believe it was Lifted Noise, his channel. Uh, he did one about, uh, just a few, I was watching it on my way home, honestly. But he was assigning things to different cue links, and I thought that was really, really cool. So I kind of got a little idea of what it does. But... It would be really cool to see it in action. And I'm also going to be getting really big into this uh, Ableton Light here soon. I really want to check that out. Um, I think it's beneficial. Because I'm looking for like different tools that I can use that will help me out. And um, I think that might actually see it said done. I'm going to click done. And on my MPC, it should be all good here. Let's see what it does. You could tell it reset because my keyboard light started flashing over here. 
So we got this going here. Let's bring this here. And download directory could not be found. That's just on my my own dilly bop that I did wrong. So right here we're gonna hit uh, plugin tube synth. Let's look at this new plugin they got. Is there one? Oh, it's not a plugin. It's an effect, isn't it? Okay. Let's go to your channel mixer. Um. I forgot, and I don't have my phone right now, but I'll give you credit, it was under uh, a comment that I saw, to just put this on the master. I know in the Studio One, I think the new MPC Studio, I don't know, because they didn't send it to me, um, you, it goes straight to the master track. Uh, I watched uh, Sight's video on that, and he's like, yeah, it goes straight to the, to the master track, and and blah, blah blah here I can put it on any track I believe so let's see and with the other Q links I'm curious to see what it looks like on the Q links I'm not sure what type of effect it is so I'm gonna go here And I always try to see if they put anything else new in here while I'm scrolling through. I use a lot of these on synths. Okay, yeah, here it is, the touch effects. I really like the granular. The granular. Um, you do a lot of stuff with granular and resampler. Let's see what this touch effects does. The XY effects, we all know that it does like the whole screen where you can do that and it you can drag your finger and all that, but this should just give us one little strip. We'll edit this strip here. See if I don't crash. So, what the Q-Links look like on the MPC-X is pretty much the same thing that it does on your on your one or anything like that. Sorry, you're not going to be able to read. I'm not using a very good camera. But the plugin looks pretty dope, I'm not going to lie. Um, they did a good job with it. And, they, and like I say, they, they keep adding so much cool stuff. And what's really neat about this is they didn't forget about the other user. Like when I had the Akai Force, um, you know, they had the same, it was pretty much the same thing as the MPC as far as plugins and everything like that. But for them to make a new product and then the next day, or eight months later have the software ready for us to use so this is cool you can change the band pass just like the XY it's got a little turntable effect a washout I'm not gonna go through these that this you're that's for you guys to go through and look and have fun with the stuff but I did show you how to oh, it's got granular oh yeah no that's gonna be fun guys I will make another video about uh, maybe if you want me to I'll go over this, these but um, this is insanely cool tape stop i mean this is really cool stuff because you can record and uh read and write automation i think easier with this than you can with the xy effects it looks like you get a little bit more control i like it pretty dope i'm not gonna okay, i don't have anything no plugins on this track or anything like that it's not hooked up to my computer or my mixer or anything. Um, but it's pretty dope. Because usually you just have the XY. What would be dope is if they had a little button here for it instead of the XY. But let's go in here and let's see. Um, program edit. Okay, so I saw this here. Let's go with these Q links. on that channel mixer let's see Q-Link edit there is a lot of stuff you can do Ugh. goodness yeah there's so much there's so many things you can do in this uh, Q-Link edit I wouldn't be surprised if you could add
I have no idea what I'm doing right here. It's a for the program. Program for the parameter. Master semi fine tune. There's a ton of stuff that you can do in here, but I want to see. I don't want to affect. I want to affect the the screen. Q links are fixed to controls of the mode you are in. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could add my own effects or my own Q links or assign my own Q links their own stuff. But in the channel, make sure you got it here and. You can do it all here. Pretty cool stuff, guys. And you can save your effects up here if you like to. You can save it. I save to my internal drive. This way it doesn't take up my NPC space because it is full. Um, other than that, what do they got here? They got a few cool things, and I haven't gone through the sounds or anything like that, but I really, I just wanted to show you guys, one, how to update the MPC to 2.10.1. Um, I did have this on a Wi-Fi network. You have to log into your wireless, and uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. But I don't see that you can save, how about an export? Can I export? I would love nothing more See, what's going to come next is that we're going to be able to, I know this is going to happen, because if that update came through the air into my MPC, but I did have to go to the, to the site and, and download some stuff, but it was trying to do some wireless stuff, so I know that if they do and when they do make another MPC, and don't even, don't, don't even send me one, I'm, I'll be more than happy to buy it. I don't want... Um, I don't want any handouts anyway, you know what I mean? I like to be able to give a good, true, honest review whenever I get something. I don't want to get something and be like, the only, there's, you know, I'm not going to lie and say this is a good thing if it's not. But then again, I'm the one to say there are no bad beats. So if you have something that can allow you to make music, uh, if I was tight and had $200 to, I mean, that's a lot. It would be really, really cool to get one of those MPC studios. I could see that being a really cool introductory way, even if it's a different workflow or whatnot. Everybody works different anyway. But um, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to drink some of this uh, energy drink here and try to make a song and see if I can get something going on here. But other than that, you guys enjoy, and I hope that this helped you guys out. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like videos like this, leave me a thumbs up. Right on. I will talk to you guys later.